Howdy everyone, hello and welcome to the third and quite possibly final episode for Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within. And of course, The Black Shadow. Apologies, it's been a couple of days since the last video of this got up. Um, I have basically spent the last four days or so in a lot of pain. Um, Wizard 2 has been giving me hell and I've pretty much spent the um, best part of a week just doped up on painkillers. It's not been the greatest of existences, but here we are. To be fair, being on drugs probably par for the course of this game uh, over the two videos that we have witnessed and maybe it's a good thing I haven't just binged three, four, five videos on this uh, in one go. I might well have been worse for it as a result. Uh, Bite-sized chunks, fairly decent intervals. Now, I do say this is possibly the last video I'm going to do for this series because there's there's no way I'm going to be able to finish this. I, I, I just don't see me being able to put up with this one. Um, and admittedly, I have been fairly critical of the game, a variety of aspects um, so far. But I don't want to be, like, really negative against this. I, I don't think that's what we want. I don't think it's what we need. And to be fair, I do think this game does have some bright sides. So I want to spend this video kind of, like, looking at those and kind of um, getting a feel for, you know, what the game at least tried to do correctly, even if a lot of it maybe didn't quite work as well. Uh, I want to get this chapter finished, and then I'll give my... Uh, closing assessment on this experience in this clock tower too. So you guys remember this is where we stepped off last time with this whole situation of uh, you know, Stephanie attempting to kill someone and us not being in a great position to deal with it and we are dying. This needs some resolving. Now to be fair I think Stop. we actually Stephanie, know Stop, what please. the problem is here. And I reckon what the issue is, is the fact that we are currently playing as Alyssa. And I reckon what we need to do is we need to not be Alyssa. We need to be Bates. We need to drop this amulet somewhere. Is it Ashley's? Somehow. Uh, now, how we're going to do that, I don't quite know. But I'm pretty sure that is the solution we're looking for here. If we are Bates... Maybe we'll have the conviction to actually do something about this rather than just stand like an idiot and, you know, get murdered, which is not a good thing, you know? So let's go get this dropped off. There we go. Now, I don't know um, if that's going to be enough or we need to go into this as baits. I suspect probably not. If that is the case, we have to go in it as baits, then... Oh, boy, we're basically on fail state already. I'll talk more about that later, don't you worry. Anyway, let's make our way back inside now that we are able to hopefully do something about the situation. Right. Don't use the key. Never get in. Sorry. It was mainly the point of like how she was like trying to resist baits and then we got stabbed, so I'm sure this is gonna be the solution. I haven't looked. I was tempted. <gasps> oh. Get up. Uh, Donk. But Catherine, run. Hurry, run. Here we go. So no ammunition to protect, to stop this from no, happening this time. Don't come out. <laughs> oh, man. She's coming. Ah, look at this. Hurry up, old lady. Get the hell out of here. So Catherine runs for her life. We just kick her in the throat oh, and we win. I'll kill her next time. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. That little monster. She's still laughing. <laughs> that little twip. I'll kill her next time. What am I doing now? She's vulnerable. Just get the knife and just punk her. What? You've got to be shitting me. And now guess who's coming back to uh, do bad things to us, everyone. You know it's happening, right? You know it's happening. Let's get the hell out.
People completed this video game. People completed this video game, everyone. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Right, let's get in here. Maybe there's a tool we can use to deal with uh, Stephanie and Pelt just gagging her. Which I'm sure he's considering just doing. Maybe something. Oh, there is something. Oh. Alright then. Yeah, it is. Donk. <laughs> right in the kneecaps. Good times. We'll take it and call that a day. Very nice. It's just not as satisfying, folks, as, like, previously. You know, when you've gone and you've managed to, like, you know... Like, I feel like you've outwitted the chase the person chasing you or, you know, used the environment to help or anything like that. None of that, sadly, everyone. None of that. Just, um, unfortunately, you know, just, just shoot them with a gun. Not the same. Now, let's make our way inside here. And uh, we don't know where Catherine ran to. But uh, we have access to the bedroom, which we probably want to go investigating. So let's go ahead and do that. Could have done it as baits, but I think this is fine. What have we got? Anything useful? We got uh, a TV. We've got some drawers back here. Mirror. Face. It's changed. I wonder if Bates has become the dominant one. That's not good. I'm glad you're also aware of Bates, you know. That's 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 nice. Oh, I wonder where Uncle Philip went. You don't want to know where Uncle Philip's gone. <laughs> He's gone places human beings have no business going, I'm sure. Anything useful? Damn. Nothing in there. Well, shoot. Can we check the other chest? Nope, just that one. Well, shoot. Is there nothing else to look at for in here? Damn. Well, this was a bust, everyone. Shame. We'll need to work out what to do next then. Catherine ran, right? So it would make sense for us to try and find out where she went. Seems reasonable. So, a lot, I think, has been made uh, amongst the comments of you guys presenting with your thoughts of this game about, like, what you think of this title. Um, and how, what it sort of, um, you have to bear it all, of course, in context of what's around it, and also what came before it, i.e. the previous game. Now, I think it's fair to say that this title had some, some definite potential. Um, and I honestly feel that the game prior, you know, left some, um, like, left some room to, like, kind of grow into. This is definitely, like, a niche sort of game anyways a niche sort of style that is definitely the case and there is no way that that has changed um uh, you know it probably got even more niche as time went on and now it's 1998 and it's just like kind of ridiculous basically um you know and fair play to assy and human entertainment or whatever the hell um you know for like kind of making these sort of oddball titles and uh you know willing to go off the beaten path and do something a little different and you know, try and see what might work and what they can master of it. Um, you know, and it just feels like the chance is there. You know, there's there's a lot of potential to, um, you know, to, like, think of, like, produce a, a decent story. You know, to kind of build on the suspense. Have the action sequence be kind of, you know, fairly interesting when they kick in. And, like, have the thought of, like, how your decisions matter. But there's just so much going against this game. The interface is horrendously clunky the game looks pretty pretty bad for 1998 it looks really really awful um the sound is very hit and miss i think <sighs> spooky with the way the game works i think it's definitely um very inconsistent um and as i've talked about this game's idea of plot and storytelling is just virtually non-existent now my understanding is that if I had gone and spent some time and, you know, let's go this way, um, and gone and, like, read, uh, like, the manual, I'd have more of an understanding of what's going on. And, again, I'm okay with games doing that and kind of, like, putting in story information into your, um, into, like, 
into into your manuals. The game's been doing this for a while. We've been doing this for like Ashley. 20, 30 years. I know, pretty bad. And I'm not against this, but you can't have the game's entire plot be in a manual. And if you don't read the manual for whatever reason, like, I don't know, you're really excited to play the game and don't want to read, and then you're punished because you don't have a clue what's going on. That's, that's indefensible. And it, that's just the way it is. Um, and it shouldn't, you shouldn't be penalizing. You know, you should be giving kind of supplementary data. The game you're playing should give you some kind of basic understanding. Um, and then if you want to read more into it and get a bit more flavor text, then you can do that with, with your, with the manuals. It can give more of an idea of stuff that's going on and that kind of thing, you know? That's the idea, but, um, yeah. It just... It's, it's so many misfires. It is, um... It's pretty bad, man. Michael, too. I know, right? Pretty bad. Right. I have no idea where I'm meant to be going here at all, everyone. Bear in mind the kendo sticks there. Might be some one day. The only thing I guess I've got is that this might revolve around, um... Uh, wasn't the statue thing in here? Did we never grab that? I, I can't honestly remember. I'll be brutally honest. This thing here. This still seems, like, too important. Like, this is... This looks really important. So we need to go and grab hold of this. Oh, I can't touch it. But why? Hmm. So we physically... Even though we've never got the chance to... Can't actually grab it? Okay, so we have a puzzle... That requires solving. Okay, I suspect the amulet is not the answer here. Oh, I can't touch it, but why? Hmm. Maybe Bates could touch it, but like Ashley can't? I don't know. Door's definitely locked, everyone. So we need to find a way to kind of like try and uh, advance here. But the thing is, is like. I have no idea. Like, I'm trying to find something to do, and I'm going around, and I've got nothing. I have absolutely no idea what to do. And the thing is, there's no clues either. Like, this is just complete fumbling around in the dark. I mean, if I turn the light off, something will, be, like, it will sparkle or something? I mean, that's me trying to think outside the box here, and I don't think that's quite how this game works. I'm not going to lie. Nah, there's just nothing going on. I wonder, folks. Now, you know that when we've been chased before, right? And, like, you know, we're getting chased room to room. And, like, the weather the chase is after you comes at you pretty quick. Steffi did take, like, forever to leave this room. Maybe there's something, like, do we go back in? Or do something while she's down? Or do we, like, do something? That, I don't know. Let's reload the game. Let's have a look. Something I have not lambasted <laughs> enough in this game is the voice acting. It is. It's pretty true. Hurry up, old lady. Get the hell out of here. Like, I see some potential with Bates. A little twerp. I'll kill her next time. <laughs> like... If it's that easy to defeat this thing by just kicking her in the face like that, why don't you just do that all the time? I don't get it, everyone. I don't get it. Right, so is there something we can do? That little monster. Is there something we can do to, like, I don't know, in the room? Or we can, like, do anything? Wait, what? No. That wasn't easy. Gosh. You just locked the door on her. 
and that's it. She's defeated. There's nothing Stephanie can do. She can't take the door down. She can't use her powers to find a way through the obstacle. We just kick it in the face and we lock the door. And that's it. We win. Man. Okay. So, let's pick this through. So we've locked the door, right? So that means we shouldn't have to worry about Stephanie anymore. And it means that in theory, if she's going to remain trapped in there, which we have to assume is going to be the case, we're now looking for a way to kind of like try and like cure her or make her not be possessed or something along those lines. I don't really know. Let's go get the amulet back. I'm pretty sure we're going to require this. Hold on, hold on. I'm coming. Hotline on five. Coming as fast as I can, all right? Don't give me seven dials. Ha! I'm going to kill you. Ha! I'm going to kill you. Wonderful. It... And she panicked and ran. I'm not controlling this, everyone. Go back inside. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, that's... That's what we gotta do now. So we've got the statue and we need to we need to work out how we're gonna proceed. Now were these doors locked or unlocked or can I lock or unlock them with the key? I don't know. I'm unsure. Oh, this is open. I don't remember it being open. D ah, okay. Well there's um there she is. We'll tell her that the coast is clear and she's not immediately going to be killed. Coming as baits would be awkward. What has happened to Stephanie? And Ashley? What happened here? Tell me, Aunt Catherine. Curse. The curse is what's causing this to happen. Curse. Curse? Wait. That's it? You're not going to tell me anymore? We're doomed. The Maxwell curse is going to kill us all. Maxwell curse, eh? God damn it. Well, she's not going to be any help, but at least she's alive, so I guess that's good. All right, let's go loot this storage room and see if there's anything we can uh, make use out of. There's better be something, surely, right? Let's see what we can locate here. Anything useful? Everything is normal, apparently. Okay, anything else here? I don't think so. That seems to be the only thing I can interact with over there. What about over here? Anything useful? We got some kind of like bin of some kind. Kerosene heater still works. Sounds interesting. But the tank is empty. Ah, okay, so we have something we could make use out of, but we need uh, some kind of item to uh, make science happen here, apparently. I don't know why it exists. I don't even know if we... I had to check it twice to get the item? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> That's so bad! Why would you do this? <sighs> just give the item! People are not gonna double check shit! They're just not going to do that! I know I did! It's because I'm streaming! Recording! Whatever the hell I'm doing! Most people would curse and glance and say, all right, not working, not work okay, we need to find something, let's leave the room. You gotta be shitting me, man. You gotta be shitting me. All right, well, we've got the can, so we need to find something to fill up, I guess. So let's head back in here. I want to see if the other doors, Um, I think the other door in here was locked. I don't know if we can unlock it. We'll see.
Hmm. Sounds quiet. It could be a trap. We do still have the key. This could be a bad idea. But I'm going to try this. She doesn't sound like she's there. It's also, notice the key's just gone now completely. So I don't think we get to lock this up again. But looks of things. She's not here. Okay. We, ooh, hello. We couldn't interact with this last time. What we got here? Letter? It's story time. From Mr. Alan Hale. It's from my father. It's postmarked 16 years ago. Okay. What does it say? Oh, so note that you are sent it belongs to the Maxwell for America, family. Okay. Ultimately, it was only a statue. And probably has nothing to do with the Maxwell's magic powers. There is probably nothing to the curse either. For now, anyway, I'm giving you the statue. If I had to give... Statue? <gasps> Not the statue in Stephanie Stephanie's room. Yes, yeah, the only one I can think of. It must be that one, right? But yeah, obviously, if she was American, like she's meant to be, she was reading that note backwards. It's a thing. Uh, that seems obviously the place for us to go here is to stay. So it's interesting to note that I wasn't able to look at that last time because I guess I hadn't resolve the situation correctly and as such I was like barred from finding the correct information this is a game of multiple endings much like every one of the games beforehand and to be fair as you go through these different paths you kind of start branching off what you are and aren't able to do does start to vary a little bit um, and this is fine but when you start withholding critical information like that this early it's not. That's that's a real recipe for disaster. Just throwing it out there. Let's make our way up to the statue, everyone. Let's see what the hell is going on with it. It's got to be the next next thing to do, right? Um, this way, I think. Right, come on through here. Um, I think it's this door. Legit me feels like we might actually be making some progress here. This is good. Uh-oh. It's gone. It is. The statue. Where did it go? Hmm. Now that's curious. We could interact with it. If we didn't take it. Who did? Stephanie? Stephanie seems the only logical explanation. Right? We'll need to we we'll need to work this out, right? Okay. Um, I guess we go down. We could go down to Catherine, I guess. And like now we've got some information about this curse thing. Maybe now we can like try and glean more information from her. This is a game that's saying loves making you go backwards and forwards. And hello, what are you doing down here, Uncle Philip? Oh, it's all because of that Maxwell curse. So I keep hearing. Maxwell curse? It doesn't matter now. You must go hide in the den. Great. 
So Philip's burying his head in the sand. We have, well, we have had pain and murder inflicted upon our family because of a mystical curse. Um, but it's too late now. We might as well just hide and wait to die. That's fantastic work, Philip. Good job, buddy. Corridor key, eh? Um, well, there's only one door I can think of that's still locked, right? And that's through the, um, in the, the kitchen area, right? It's the only door I can think of. The den? The hell is that? Hmm. Like, is this a place just to hide? Or maybe there's something we can use to try and deal with this situation, perhaps. It's the only thing I can think of. Let's go open this up. I sh it must be this. Yeah, it is this. Okay, good. That is gone as well. Phillips, but it's not looking like a great dad. Well, he's not even a dad. I don't know what he is. Okay, so the lights are off. Let's go turn these on. Got a load of books and stuff down here. I don't know what any of this is. Some strange literature. I'm not convinced. But okay. Move on. It's a little, a little suspicious, everyone. I'm not going to lie. I don't like this. Top of the table is neat and tidy. Well, good. What about these bookcases? There must be something useful in, one, in some of these. This seems too, too important a room to just not have nothing in it. These books, they all look so difficult. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, what about the... Is there really nothing in any of this? Really? Wow, that surprises me. I would have thought there'd be bound to be something for us to, to interact with here, but... Uh... No, nope, apparently, cool-looking desk and chair, just like, meh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Down we go. I'm saving the game. This is a this is a good decision, everyone. I'm just throwing this out here now. This seems like a good idea. Uh, Philip, are you okay? How's he able to hold that? And we, I don't know. That's pretty cool. We'll just leave Philip just standing there in like a trance in the corner. Up whatever this is, I'll attempt to. Got a lighter, nice. Always very useful. Um, Philip, are you okay? This is the statue. Everything started after Stefan. He found it in the closet. That statue? The closet. Curse is true. That's why you're possessed. Or... Wait, what? I've been cursed too? Excuse me? You know, don't you? Anyone involved with the Maxwell family. What the... Uh. Whoa! Hey, buddy! This is rude! What the hell, Philip? Uh. Oh. Jeez, he's trying to kill us! We just shove him back and it's like... Oh. I'm defeated. Huh. Right. We have problems, everyone. Get out of here. Yeah, there she is. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. We're going to need to deal with the situation. So... Is, like, Stephanie the statue, or... Like, how does Stephanie come out of there? That doesn't make any sense, right? I don't know. I'm unsure. 
Right, we need to deal with the situation somehow. Um... Oh, shit. Too slow. God damn it. Just kick her in the face like it worked last time. Now, the problem is we've still got the damn amulet on us here. Oh, what a horrendous way for you to run. We've still got the amulet on us, which means that we basically can't, like, um, we can't shoot because we can't get rid of baits. Well, can't become baits. an idea. It works in Dead by Daylight. Loop. Loop. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. Gain some boldness. Just need a pallet now and then we'll remember it. All right. Time to get you some. You are screwed! Stephanie, I'm sorry. So bad, everyone. It's just... <laughs> it is comically and unironically just hideous to watch, everyone. Oh my god. Yikes. This doesn't look good. Uh, I'm just going to save the game again here because I might as well because we're, uh, you know, in the midst of some problems. My health hasn't been recovered too much. So, uh, yeah. What in the God's name is this statue, everyone? Well, let's see if he's alive. Hopefully he is. Burn it. The statue. Burn it. Uncle Philip. The statue. Hurry, burn it. Why didn't you already do this? Well, then, folks, I think the uh, the solution here is clear. We need to burn this thing. Burn da -da -da -da. the statue. So, if I was going to burn a statue, we would need some bonus. We've got a lighter. We've got some oil. We just need some tinder, right? I don't know where we can find some tinder. We go back to the main, uh, the main hallway with, like, the gun and the sword and that. There was, of course, there's a fireplace back there, you may remember. I strongly suspect this is where we've got to go. I think the fact that I haven't got the most health is not going to be the biggest problem here. I can only hope so. A little nervous, but we'll see how we go. Make our way inside. Extra question. Why can I interact with this now when I couldn't previously? shrug. So, I reckon we put the statue in here, we pour oil over it, and we burn it. Makes sense, right? Uh-oh. Not gonna be that easy. Now, oh, shoot. I must burn the statue. Agreed. Um, I don't know what's happened. I, there was a, there was a prompt. Ow. Well, shit. <laughs> we have been defeated, everyone. Damn. Hmm. Okay. We, so we need a different solution there. We need to, like... Do something here. 
can't use the gun because we're not I like must whatever. Burn the statue. Wait, where's our amulet? <laughs> Do you wonder if we like chuck it at her or something? <laughs> um, oil? Are we just gonna do this while she's stalking us? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> she's just standing there. Huh. I'm going to kill you. The hell you are. Does she missed. Oh, now we're baits. Oh. Oh. Hey, you little shit. What good is it going to do to burn that? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Great. No. Wow. She's dead, everyone. That's the way I do it. Wow, she's just dead. What the fuck, man? Um, flashing? I can't interact. Oh, wait, hello. Oh, shit, I wasn't quick enough. Oh, you idiot. Oh, that's end of game. Oh, that's an ending? Oh, You're same ending. crazy. <laughs> what? What the fuck, man? I think we're meant to grab the amulet or something there, I guess. Or something. I don't know. Damn, Bay's just, like, sick of this shit. Just stabs her in the chest. Damn. Ending I Right. Not the worst ending in the game, I guess. I have to admit, this is, like, one of the least scary, like, scenes I've ever seen in a video game. And I played Barbie's Explorer. But. It was a joke. But yeah, I mean, it's just like. Huh. I'm going to kill you. The hell you are. Just give up. I love it, just, just takes the knife, just like, give me a break. Hey, you little shit. What good is it gonna do to burn that? <laughs> Bates might be a bit of a badass, everyone. I'm not gonna lie. That's the way I do it. It's not gots, but it's close. Let's go get the damn uh, thing, everyone. Apparently, we have won. Amulet, protect me. <laughs> oh, for the love of Christ, really, lady, just give up. Just stands there. Stephanie, I'm sorry. And we collapse for reasons unbeknownst to us. What happened? Oh. This looks promising. Oh. I think. Are you okay? Alex Corey, Monterey County Police. Great. You don't have fuzz. to talk. Place? Memorial Hospital, I got a call from Tate's wife. When I went inside, I found you and a girl laying on the floor. I carried you out here. Cheers. Stephanie, how is she? She was badly injured, but she'll be okay. <laughs> She's not gonna die. She got stuck in the heart, for God's sakes! That's a serious injury to me. Speaking of serious... What was that? I don't know. And off he goes. In typical fashion. Noisy monster's cage. Is that monster meant to have an apostrophe in it? I don't know.
I don't think he's a player, I suppose. What to say about this title? I've spoke that the NES game, I think even for its time, was definitely a bit on the slow side. But it had a nice kind of like artistic style to it. And if you're into that kind of like sort of more procedural, slower paced gaming, you could definitely enjoy it. 1996's version was bonkers and insane. But it had enough kind of charm to it and nuttiness where you could sort of take a step back from the game and kind of just enjoy it for what it was. And it was 1996, you know, like all sorts of different types of games were coming out and people were trying different things and that was great. And there was some legitimate groundwork laid to have like a pretty kind of in-depth uh, adventure. I think not only does this game fail to live up to expectations of what came before, I think this game, it just gets the basics wrong. Um, you know, the design is really, really, like, stodgy and difficult to work with, you know. It's 1998, you know, where games are becoming, like, much more fully formed and freeing around. Um, obviously, some are sort of still tank controly, but there's a lot going on, and it's still basically a point and click game. It doesn't look great at all. Um, the sounds and the music's like, when it's alright, it's fine, but there's nothing remarkable about it at all. Um, and yeah, as I say, the, the way this game decides to decide how plot works in this game is just. It's just not good enough, everyone. Um, and it's a real shame. It's a real, real shame. Would I advise that you play this game? No. I would say even if you feel like you have to play this game for historical purposes, I, I don't think it's going to be worth it. I think by the time you've gone through this, trying to get a decent ending... And you just like ripped your hair out at the trial and error sort of uh, way this game works um, in trying to get sort of the correct solutions. Um, it's going to be so much effort and anxiety. I just can't see how I would suggest it's 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 a work. Um, I will also mention as well. This is a good point to mention. Um, it was mentioned, I believe, in the comments uh, in the first video, and someone I'm sure we can give more details about what it actually is. But I believe this game does actually have a situation where oh so there is an ending branch where if there's something you either do or don't do in the first chapter um which we may or may not have done um you can't actually get the good ending at all like and not only does it not like end your game there it waits until basically the back end of the game and then says oops and you know that's that was like a game mechanism of like the 80s in arcades and sort of point and clicks of that sort of genre it's not aged well. Let's put it that way, folks. You know, people make suggestions recently of games how like Fallout 76, Mass Effect Andromeda, about being series killers of these big, massive franchises. You know, widely successful, widely popular, and these games have become and done like an enormous amount of damage. I think at times these sort of statements can be a bit overplayed, but it's not unrealistic to say that this game was a series killer. It killed a lot of stuff. Um, the year after this came out, um, Human Entertainment were dealing with crippling debts, and by 2000, they were out of business. They were done. Uh, the rights of this uh, series then left to a company called Sunsoft, uh, who uh, re more recently at the time had been going through the Final Fantasy Legends series uh, for the Game Boy. Uh, we've covered another game that did well actually on the channel before, uh, Batman Return of the Joker back on the NES. Not a lot of games to their name, but uh, some really, really good, enjoyable titles. Um, however, this series died. It was gone. Seemingly never to return. That was at least until 2002, where uh, it was announced that this this would be making a resurgence, backed by a company who know a thing or two about survival horror games. And that's where our journey is going to go next, folks. Next time, 
We're going to delve into the world of Clock Tower 3. I'm really looking forward to it. New developers, new designs, new thoughts, new vision, new hardware on the PlayStation 2 as well. Um, and I'm fascinated to see how this journey is going to end from the kind of the retro of the original game, the highs of 1996 to the sad lows of this. Maybe we can find a happy ending after all. I hope so, folks. I really do. Thanks for coming once. Been appreciated. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time.